what's the big idea with the method of images? So imagine that I have a positive charge right here near a very large infinite conducting sheet of metal and it's grounded. So I can pull charge from the ground up to there uh, and I want to find the potential everywhere over here. Well, we know we have uh, the following equation for the potential, right? That this, the Laplacian of the potential has to be equal to some constant charge density, which is going to be kind of weird here, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. What matters is if I find a solution that has the same boundary conditions, that is the solution. So the boundary conditions here are, let's call this the z direction, at z v of z equals zero is zero, right? Because that's a, that's a grounded plate. The potential right here has to be zero. Also, v at infinity is equal to zero. So if I have a solution where those so, same things work, then I'm done. And one of the solutions is to put over here a negative image charge the same distance away but have a negative value. If you find the potential along this point due to those two, v is v positive plus v negative, they're all the same distance away so I get a potential of zero because that one has a negative charge. So that gives me this boundary condition right there. And also since they're point charges, remember the potential of a point charge, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r, well as r goes to infinity this goes to zero so the potential due to these two charges as you get really far away goes to zero. So these two boundary conditions are met. And now I can find the potential anywhere and then I can find the electric field anywhere. Remember the electric field E is just going to be negative del V and so I can find the electric field everywhere too. Not really everywhere because I don't really want this region over here. That's beyond my boundary. That's my boundary condition. That's my boundary condition. When I point that way that's infinity, right? Can you see that's infinity? Okay, so that's the method of images. Now be careful, if you have a non-flat plate, then that equal and opposite charge doesn't really work. Uh, for spherical conductors, it's a little bit more complicated, but the same idea.